In this podcast episode, Ben Shapiro discusses the issue of deterrence in foreign policy, particularly in relation to the current actions of the Biden administration. Shapiro highlights how President Biden's repeated use of the word don't in response to various threats from countries like the Taliban, Russia, and Iran has not been backed up by credible action. This lack of credible deterrence has led to a situation where the United States is being deterred by smaller powers like Iran, indicating a moral cowardice on the part of the Biden administration. Shapiro explains the concept of deterrence as the idea that the threat of unacceptable counteraction can prevent hostile actions. He emphasizes the importance of maintaining a credible threat of force to deter potential adversaries. He contrasts the deterrence strategies of former President Donald Trump, who was seen as a strong and unpredictable force, with the perceived weakness of the Biden administration in dealing with threats from countries like Iran. Shapiro criticizes President Biden for failing to follow through on his warnings to adversaries, such as the Taliban, Russia, and Iran. He argues that Biden's reluctance to take decisive action in response to provocations has undermined America's credibility on the world stage. Shapiro attributes the lack of credible deterrence to what he describes as moral cowardice on the part of the Biden administration. He argues that Biden's reluctance to confront adversaries like Iran stems from a fear of alienating his left-wing base, which has become increasingly vocal in its support for causes like Palestine. This fear of domestic backlash has led Biden to prioritize de-escalation over assertive action in response to threats. Shapiro discusses Israel's response to Iran's recent missile and drone attacks, highlighting the country's need to defend itself against such provocations. He notes that Israel is facing pressure from the United States to exercise caution in its response to Iran, as Biden seeks to avoid further escalation. However, Shapiro argues that Israel must prioritize its own security and take necessary actions to deter future attacks from Iran. Shapiro examines the political dynamics in the United States, particularly the influence of left-wing groups on the Biden administration's foreign policy decisions. He points to protests in support of Palestine and calls for de-escalation as factors shaping Biden's approach to international conflicts. He also discusses the role of Congress in passing aid packages for countries like Ukraine and Israel, highlighting the challenges of balancing competing interests within the legislature. Shapiro continues by addresses is the increasing nuclear capabilities of China. According to reports, China is on track to double its number of nuclear warheads by the end of the decade, which poses a significant threat to global security. Shapiro highlights the need for the United States to address this issue and not dismiss it lightly. Another topic discussed is the ongoing legal battles involving former President Donald Trump. Shapiro criticizes the case brought against Trump in Manhattan, where he is facing charges related to payments made to Stormy Daniels. He argues that the case is politically motivated and an assault on the American democratic process. The media's focus on Trump's legal troubles is seen as a distraction from more pressing issues facing the country. Shapiro also touches on the appointment of Catherine Marr as the new head of NPR. He highlights Marr's controversial statements on race and gender, suggesting that her appointment may further politicize the media outlet. This move raises concerns about NPR's objectivity and credibility in reporting the news. 